Our Verify team is here to answer your questions. With football season just around the corner, some of you may be looking to sell your tickets this year. Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg answers a question about online sales that came straight to our email. We got this email from viewer Ludwell C. He says, I sold two preseason Panther tickets on Ticketmaster. I've received an email asking me, among other things, to provide my tax ID so Ticketmaster can send me a 1099K if I sell over $600 in tickets on the website. Is this legit? I sold my tickets for less than I paid for them. Why would my proceeds be assumed to be income? So let's verify. Our source is Mark Henry, CEO of Alloy Wealth Management and Ticketmaster. When the American Rescue Plan went into effect on January 1st, so did a new law that requires sales completed on e-commerce platforms to be reported to the IRS. The new law now requires people who get more than $600 per year to report it. So this could come from a variety of places. This could be a ticket sale, as this example this viewer wanted to know about. But it could be anything. On the Ticketmaster website, it says the company is generally required to file a Form 1099-K report with the IRS if the gross amount of your transaction is $600 or more in a calendar year. We filed taxes in 2023. So by April 15th of 2023, which will be the 22 tax year, that will be a reportable transaction. So we can verify that, yes, if you sell something for more than $600 on Ticketmaster, you have to fill out a 1099K form. But what about the second part of Ludwell's question? If you're selling something at a loss, do you still have to fill out a 1099K for Ticketmaster? Henry told us since the sale is more than $600, third-party payment apps will still issue you a 1099K tax form no matter what. However, the $600 would not be taxed as income in this case because it's a loss, not a gain. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.